Hello, my name is Matthew Griffin, 47 years old, 28 years, German pipe fitter. Been married for 18 years, four children, five grandkids. Republican. Voted Republican in 2016, but not for Trump. I, I signed a, I signed in vote, wrote in Paul Ryan's name. Still voted on the Republican Party. I would not vote for Trump. There's several reasons why. I can just give them by examples. Racist, bigot, sexist, male chauvinist, bully, agitator, liar, corrupt, swindler, grifter, you name it. For all my religious beliefs to be trampled on as a Christian and be told to accept them by my Christian leaders in this world, claiming that he is a godsend, claiming that he's brought to us by God. I don't see it that way. I see him as being brought to us as a tool to show us something. He promised us transparency. Promised he was going to clean the swamp. He didn't do neither. Only thing he did transparency wise was open our eyes to let us see if we want to see those of us that want to see the corruption and the mishandling of power in our judicial system, in our legislative system, in our executive branches. Cause he has taken advantage of every concept of that. Our foreign policies are down the tubes. We've lost the respect from these foreign leaders. He's pulled us out of the, the cl climate control. Climate gl global change is happening. He wants to deny it. Now, after all this, these three and a half years was eat up with nothing but straight, benign, useless acts toward nothing being accomplished. And now, heaven forbid, the pandemic hits us. The lack of leadership that was showed, the lack of presence, the lack of caring, the lack of acknowledgement for this disease, the fact that we've lost so many lives for this disease, and the fact that the lies and the misleading information that he keeps putting out there, that these brainwashed people that voted for him are are taking in and saying this truth. The hatred he's caused after the shootings in Louisville, Kentucky, in Minneapolis, Minnesota, in Atlanta, Georgia. Not only the, not only those, the ones that happened back in 2016, 2017, the Orlando shooting, the Las Vegas shooting, the hatred that was brought up, the way he went after white supremacists, he didn't. Took him under his wing pretty much. But it took the world saying something about it. It takes somebody going out and calling him out on it before he wants to do something about it. The remarks he makes and the people to try to justify everything he says. And his ego. The man is not a leader. But he is showing us, and I believe God put him up there for a reason, to show us what our government is lacking and what we are losing. This man has broke us down to the very marrow and exposed our weaknesses. He has not downsized anything that saw that this Saudi Arabia had done as far as killing the, the reporter. They took the side of the princes. He took the side of Putin. Kim Jong il. These people have made a mockery of us. He's downgraded our allies and befriended our enemies. And no justification. He spent more time trying to bully around and trying to make look like Obama and Hillary look bad. And he hasn't showed me anything. There's no way I can vote for the lesser two evils to begin with. And my morals and my standards will never be put to the wayside for the better good of the, of the republic. That is crazy. And for anybody to say that's a justified statement has lost their daggone mind. And Lord help the ones, the Christians out there that are saying he's still a godsend because I'm telling you, he was not a godsend. He was a vessel used for us to see. And if we don't start opening our eyes up, we are going to be in for a hell of a damn four years. 
I will not vote for Trump. This Republican will vote for Joe Biden. God bless you.